Welcome back here. It's good to know that you're watching this video. My name is L and I'm all right. Okay, today I want to just uh, show you how to make love, right? Many times we hear people say uh, we made love, uh, I want to make love with you. So today I really want to define what does it mean to make love and how to make it. So this is just really how to make love for yourself and it can work for anybody whether you're male or you're female. Now, when we're talking of love, we're talking of everything that has to do with love. I know uh, usually people think that, oh, um, love is feeling, love is this and that. But I think love is a decision, it's a feeling, it's everything comprised together. In fact, for those who are Christians, we have learned to um, actually um, separate love, or is it separate now? Uh, divide love into a segment. So the same thing, but it has different um, segments, just like a citrus fruit, right? Like tangerines, like orange. You open it and you see different segments. That's how love is. So love is uh, one whole fruit with uh, different segments. And if you, if you understand that and you understand it in Greek, you understand that we have agapao, the God's kind of love. We have eros, which is romantic love. We have filio, which is brotherly love. And we have start J, which is uh, affinity love, right? Okay, uh, affinity and confraternity uh, love. Oh God, hit my grammar. <laughs> so, now, when we are talking about love, we are talking about all this together. However, for the purposes of this video, right, we're going to be touching on all of them, right? We'll be touching on all of them with special emphasis on romantic love, with special emphasis on romantic love. Many people, when they are talking about love, only talk about the rest, without having to talk about the rest, but I don't think that is proper. And that it is such people who just focus only on the on eros um, that comes up saying that um, love is not enough. The truth about it is that if you take love as a whole, agapao, like filio, stodje, eros, it is enough. There, there is nothing else that is not inside that. In fact, for all scripture says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son everything for god so loved the world that was it it was just love it was not uh, respect likeness understanding everything was inside that love it was inside that basic love so how if, if since we understand that this is love how then does it apply to what i want to share today that has to do with uh, how to make love now for the purposes of to this video I would try to define that love to just be a rust, right? Romantic love, um, how to make love. And so people are <laughs> ended it to also be that, um, to make it just be sex, make such love be sex, but <laughs> it's not really that. Okay, so this is how to make love. Just three ways to make love. One, two, three. If you are able to get these three ways of make love, you, to make love, you'll be able to make love with anybody no matter who they are the first one is friendship like friendship you should be able to uh you, you should first of all become friends with anybody before you get to that final point where people just think that making love is sex we'll get to sex but then before you get to sex if you say you're making love it means that we are making something we are building something it's like you're baking cake it's like you're making a dough it's like you're making a goosey soup it's like you are uh, making a house you're doing something right it's a process you're making it the first thing for you to do is to build friendship right you build friendship with this person you build understanding with this person and this is where soul ties happens this is where you you get to understand each other respect each other like each other know what is there for each other and with that understanding with that growth right with that growth of being friends and becoming soulmates of friends you move to the next level which is you you, you apply romance right like a pinch of salt <laughs> You make it, you upgrade it, you make it grow, and you bring in erotic love into filio. You you bring in erotic love into the first brother, uh, the first agape was the agape was the father. You like this person like a human person. You move it to filio. You became friends with this person. Um, you you, uh, you move it to storge. You are friends with this person. Filio. You not like this person. Oh, because this person is not more or less like my soulmate. You move it to eros, which is romantic love. And with romantic club you're not coming to say okay 
this one you're special you are unique you're peculiar to me out of everybody i choose you and i choose to spend the rest of my um, life with you so the moment you, you you develop yourself to that particular level you grow yourself to that particular level it becomes something good that is the level two so the level one is friendship right level two is um romance then level three becomes the sexual relationship so this is it friendship is general everybody you could be friends with everybody you could befriend everybody you could like everybody and the rest but when it comes to um romantic um, relationship it now becomes exclusive one person marriage was designed to be exclusive right to just be you and a person so from that exclusivity you want to move to the sexual intimacy and sexual intimacy can only happen should only happen after you have made the commitment of marriage so after you've been married to that person after you have seen that okay whatsoever friendship i have with you whatsoever romantic relationship i have with you i want to grow it i want to make it uh, go further i want to go to the higher level now for you to go into the higher level you have to be initiated into it right and marriage becomes an initiation marriage becomes a license marriage becomes that core that you're called into that particular level of intimacy so this is the full process of making it the reason why many people are getting hot these days is because they jump level one they jump level two and it goes straight to level three and and so what are they they are just <laughs> sex partners they are just people who are more or less like who just have an affair in a one night stand and the rest some people jump level one go to level two and they get hot but then you have to follow the process if you really want to enjoy it and if you actually want to make love the proper way so how's the way to make love how do you make love again first number one you build friendship from there you introduce romance and then you go higher by taking the commitment of marriage into sex don't go to sexual intimacy without first of all going through friendship going through romance and also the commitment of marriage this is actually the way to make love and if this is the way to make love, it means that it's not something that can happen in one day, it's not something that can happen in one week. It has to take time to happen, right? To, to be somebody so mid takes time. You have to know a person. Knowing somebody takes time. Understanding a person takes time, right? It's not just the falling in love thing. Falling in love thing, the romantic thing, you know. Let's start from the friendship. And so that's how we usually tell people, don't ask somebody out who is not your friend. And don't say yes to somebody who is not first your friend. Choose from your friends. Thank you so much for watching this video. Remember to subscribe and share this video with your friends. Also remember to drop a comment. Do not forget that uh, if you chat me via WhatsApp, I will respond. And even in the comment section, I'll be the one that will respond to everything that you ask or, or drop. Thank you so much. My name is Ellen. I'm alright. You rock.